guys, welcome back. I know, I look a little nutty right now. Eyes, raggedy hair, no face makeup. That is because I am doing a first impression review for you guys and I, yeah, <laughs> okay. So when I went to BeautyCon this weekend, I got a sample, actually it's not a sample, it's a full size. I got a full size foundation from Bare Minerals, their new Bare Skin liquid foundation. It is the first liquid foundation that Bare Minerals has ever released. There have been so many of you that have been asking me to do a review on this foundation. Unfortunately, I had no intentions of doing a review because I have enough foundation I was not going to buy it. But then when I went to BeautyCon and they gave us uh, a full size one for free for going, I decided, yeah, I was going to do it. So, I am going to do a first impression review right on camera for you guys so you can be here with me. So, anyway, this is the box. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. Okay, so let's open it up. Here's what the bottle looks like. Let's see. Okay, when you shake it, there's obviously like a little ball in there that helps you shake it, kind of like um, spray paint. And it sounds really liquidy. We're going to go ahead and try that on. Uh, they also gave us this, which is the Perfecting Face Brush. And it's got a little hole in the middle here. Let me zoom you in so you can actually see it better. I know, you guys. Look. Oh, my zits. I am, like, suffering right now, guys. I'm suffering. You're not the only ones that get pimples. Okay, so if you could see, let's see how, let's see what, I'm, I'm looking in the viewfinder to see what angle you can actually see. There you go. You can see it there. See the little hole? There's a hole in the middle of this brush. And what it says to do is shake it up real well, put one drop in the middle, and you can use one drop for the whole face, which I'm really skeptical about. But let's start with one drop, and then if we need to add more, we're going to add more. So we're going to take one drop. I'm going to put one drop. Oh, oh. No, one drop is not going to be enough. I don't know what they're thinking. But, all right, let's get to one drop on the foundation. Do they mean, like, one drop per swipe or something? <laughs> like, like, I feel like the one drop's already gone. Okay, well, one drop is obviously already gone. So we're going to go ahead and add some more drops. I guess maybe in a perfect world, you'll need one drop. So maybe I'll just do one drop at a time. Yeah, maybe that's what they meant. So I'm just buffing it on, as they said to do. Lightly buff, I'm not putting too much pressure on. They had to have met one drop at a time. Like, one drop for the whole face just is not going to work. I don't think that would work for most people. I really like this brush though. Like, I like that it's precise. And it's kind of small. Like it goes well with this foundation. Okay, so I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my forehead. And it did cover the hyperpigmentation. Um, I have a little blemish, some blemishes here and here. It didn't really cover that. But I'm just going to add a little bit more. So maybe it's, you know, it's just, you know, you know. <laughs> it just wasn't enough for where I was applying it. We're going to go down the neck a little because we have a little bit of acne on the neck. And I'm going to go over this little thing right here again. For my nose, I have really large pores on my nose. So I have to really dab and like stipple foundation on my nose. Like I can't buff it because then it leaves like little dots like where the foundation has gone into the pores in my nose. And then nothing on the surface. So it looks really funny. So I have to kind of stipple it on my nose. Well, guys, what do you think? This is one coat. This is one coat of foundation. Like, I'm looking here in the viewfinder. Um, I think it's a really pretty good match. And I feel like it's got this, like, dewy look to it. I like it. I think it's really pretty. Um, I feel like it looks like my skin. Oh, I didn't blend. I didn't blend them in right here. Okay. Um, I think that they chose a color that was slightly pink for me because, like, Right here on my neck, you could see this is a more yellow, like, 
yellow here and then more pink here like if you look I'm like pink here and then like more yellow here so I think the color is slightly off for me um nothing I couldn't work with though like I'm gonna have to just blend it down my neck a little bit more I think I have the kind of skin that you might have to uh, blend two colors together because one won't match me so I'll have to get like one yellow, more a little yellow, and one a little bit more pink. Okay, for ladies with oily skin, I think this is going to be the kind of foundation that you're going to need a, like an oil control uh, primer with because I haven't used any primer intentionally, and I look very shiny, like really shiny, and I'm like combination oily. I'm not oily, but I'm like combination oily. So like my T-zone gets really oily and it's leaving me very dewy looking, which I like, but that's not for everybody. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup, you know, my blush and my lippies, and I'll be right back and we're going to chat about this foundation. I'm back. <laughs> Boom. I put the rest of my makeup on. Actually, I only added three things. I'll just tell you guys since you know everything than my foundation. Whatever. Okay. So I used a cream uh, uh, cream blush. I used this. this. This is Rose Petal by NYX. It's a beautiful cream blush. And I just applied that with my fingers. And for my highlight, I used my, um, what is this? Uh, cream Color Base by MAC in Shell. And I used that as my highlight. And then for my lips, I just used a little Lacey Danger lip I don't know, I was going to call it a lip gloss. Um, what I like to do though is to start with chapstick or lip balm on my lips and then I add this so it, it gives it a little bit more of a glossy uh, satin finish instead of so matte because sometimes this can get a little chalky on me. So I add that on my lips beforehand. Okay, so that's what I'm wearing on my face. Anyway, so let's get to talking about this sick foundation. Okay, so the packaging, it is plastic, which is good because it's a drip kind of formula, so you need to be able to squeeze it. So you don't have to worry about just kind of like, you know what I mean, or just trying to force it out. So you can squeeze it appropriately. Um, the tube is pretty basic, you know, it's, it's nothing special, nothing special to look at. It kind of reminds me of the Dior Flash, I think it is, like that. The, the spray foundation, it kind of reminds me, that bottle reminds me of that a little bit. So there are a few aspects to this foundation that I do really like, some claims that they made that are exciting. I'm not sure how true they are or how false they are. I guess we'll find out in time. But one, they say that this foundation actually doubles as a sunscreen. Because it has SPF 20, the directions for sunscreen use is to apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or swimming wedding. Reapply at least every two hours. Uh, children under six months ask a doctor. Okay. I don't know why you'd put foundation that costs $30 on a child under six months old. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Okay. Why don't, why would you just go with a little bit of banana boat there? So there's a nice little warning about the sun. Hey, listen, we all know sun causes skin cancer. That's just the way it is. The rays in the sun just morph and mutate your cells and turn them into malignancies. We all know that and we all know that we should be wearing sunscreen all the time. Not to mention, aside from the dangers of sun for just cancer-wise, it ages you, gives you wrinkles, makes you look like poo. I don't know why people, you know, worship in the sun when they could look younger for longer. That's much more important to me. Anyway, they say that this form and age, this foundation is formulated without water, oil, silicone, parabens, or fragrance. It's dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, and it's formulated for all skin types and skin tones. Okay, so it may be formulated for all skin types and skin tones. However, I think that if you have oily skin, this foundation might not be the best for you if you want to look matte because this obviously like you can see my skin is not a matte finish right now it's obviously a dewy finish so if you have oily or combination oily skin and you like to look mattified this isn't the foundation for you I'm not sure on the lasting power my first impression of bare minerals bare skin foundation is really a good one I think that it's looks really pretty I think that if you have acne skin I don't know if this is really gonna do a lot for you coverage wise it really seems Seems like a light coverage maybe medium coverage if you build it up a little bit but you can't build it up all that much um, you know so it's gonna be better for people with uh, 
less acne. I do have some pimples right now and I intentionally did not put, um, I intentionally did not use concealer over them and they're still peeking through a little bit. So I'd say that you can get a medium coverage out of this, but full coverage not so much. I really, I do like it though. Um, I think that it gives my skin a lovely glow and it does not feel heavy. That's what I really like. Like it's not sticky, it doesn't feel cakey on my skin, and it doesn't look cakey on my skin. Like it doesn't look cakey at all. It doesn't look like I'm wearing any foundation on my skin. Maybe I'll get like really close up for you guys so you can see what my skin looks like with the foundation on it. Okay, so you can see my skin. You can obviously see my eyebrows is fake. Don't hate on my fake eyebrows. Okay, anyway, this is this is my, what my skin looks like. So it, it looks like skin. And I did not use any under eye concealer or anything like that. There's a hair stuck on my eyelash. Okay. So um, here around my mouth I had a little bit of acne. So um, it's, it's, it's covering it enough. But it's not really covering it a whole ton. I blurred out my acne. Like on my chin and you know I have some like little spot pimples here and it's covered it enough but it's it's not fully covered but you know what I think that it really looks like skin like it doesn't look like cake face which is super awesome okay so overall it gets the Sammy seal of approval this foundation I really like it and I think you're gonna be seeing it in upcoming tutorials uh, I'm gonna let you guys know how the wear is and how it looks in about six hours from now if you do have any concerns or questions about the foundation just comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can um, and I will leave a link to the foundation itself in the description bar in case you wanted to check it out Alright, so I figured I would come back and do a quick update on the foundation situation. It's actually been about, let's see, it's been about five hours later. I just woke up from a nap and I figured I would come show you guys real quick. So I wonder if I have a little crusties on my eyes. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like after about five hours, about five hours I would say. Okay, I still look really dewy. Um, I remember wiping my nose or like itching my nose a whole bunch earlier when I was sleeping. I had taken off Lady Danger because I don't go to sleep with lipstick on. So I just put a little um, lip gloss on. In my my lines up here, I have a couple little uh, forehead lines when I, when I move my eyebrows. And in those lines, um, product has gathered a little bit in those lines. But when I press it with my finger here, it just smooths back in so that's good here on I have a couple little blemishes and the product has broken down a, just a tiny tiny little bit right here on the blemish and here and and on my nose actually it's broken down a bit too so what was covering my, my nose is a little bit patchy I will say that um, the product I, I have something on my forehead that God knows what that's from my temple I will say that the product really didn't oxidize all that much so the color still looks really Really, really similar as to what it looked like when I first applied it which is a really big bonus um, there comes Harley looking to join the video fun <laughs> hi Harley there I really I think the product is really pretty um, I haven't been exercising in the last five hours and I haven't been you know sweating a whole ton so I really can't say anything about that but as far as just normal wear you know normal day five hours or so maybe a little less I don't know <laughs> but about five hours I think it stayed pretty nice so this is what it looks like and I wanted to show you guys um, if you're highly active I'm not really sure how well this would stay and if you're highly oily I don't know how well this would stay but as far as I'm concerned on a regular day sitting in a desk for me or doing whatever you're doing around the house it it seems to be pretty good and it still feels really good like it doesn't feel like I have anything on my face which is super bonus for me so we are going to return to our previously recorded footage right now that's my first impression I hope it was helpful for you guys if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys